7k we're rolling if you can't tell with the different image video quality i'm on my camcorder now because i finally have a fire wire for it so i can edit it on my computer yeah anyway so if you can't tell by the title up here um Today I wanted to talk about people who mess with you at the mall. Like seriously, some of the weirdest things can happen at the mall while you're shopping or just hanging out. Like what happened to me today when I went to the mall. Oh, it's cold in here. Okay, so I'm walking by Wet Seal with my friend and there's this kiosk and there's this Asian lady that walks away from the kiosk and she like barely like spoke loud enough for me, she just kind of muttered and she handed me this flyer and I was like, oh no thank you, no thank you. But all I heard out of her was, oh, donate your eyebrows, donate your eyebrows. And I was just like, okay, not today, no. But she persisted, she was like, no, no, here, take the flyer in case you change your mind. In case you change your mind, come, come again. So I take the flyer and as I'm walking out, I read it and Sure enough, it said, donate your eyebrows for eyebrow threading. What? Okay, like, first of all, why would I want to donate my eyebrows? If, like, my eyebrows are fine, and I don't have to worry about plucking them too much because they grow at the speed of light. And, like, it sort of sounded like locks of love for eyebrows, but still, it sounded really sketch. Like, I probably should have asked Lee, like, how it's done and stuff instead of ranting about it like this. But it's like, okay, how does that work? Do they just like pluck a bunch of hairs and then like thread them into someone? Oh, and then also me and my friend passed by that kiosk again with the threading eyebrows. And there was someone sitting there getting their eyebrows threaded. Okay, tell me that surgery at the mall doesn't sound sketch. Like, that sounds so sketch. How would that work on a resume when you're like putting community service stuff? Like, just imagine. So ma'am, what kind of charitable acts have you done? We need well-rounded people in our business. Yeah, um, I like totally donated my eyebrows for people. What? Like, that's just so weird. I don't know, I just thought it was really weird. Oh no, this is crazy. A year or two ago, I was at this other mall, and I don't know if some of you have heard of this, but there's this like spa thing called Miracle of the Dead Sea. And of course they like put a sample of the stuff on your hands and are like, oh, see how this thing like cleans your cuticles and makes your skin so smooth and pretty and wonderful. And this one guy had like persisted me. I was like walking past it, and when I'm like five feet away, he like walks up to me and he like grabs my hand and he starts rubbing the stuff on my finger. He's like, here, try this. It's wonderful. It's Miracle of the Dead Sea. And I'm like, uh, GTFO. And I like move my hand away from him and like storm off as fast as I can, like this. And people like that drive me insane. It's like, no, I don't want your sample. GTFO. <laughs> yeah, um, people mess with me. Do people ever mess with you like that? Like, I don't know if it's just me. But, I don't know. Do, do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's just me, but do people ever mess with you? Put it down in the comments or make a video response. I want to hear your stories of, like, any weird occurrences and such. Okay, well, I think that's all, so I will see you guys next time.